Good morning, everybody. How's it going? We are starting a new vlog. I still have another day of finals left, but my mom is here. Say hi, hi mom. mom. She's trying to get our information right now so we can go to Trader Joe's. We do a day about once every few weeks where she comes up and we just like get all our errands done together. It's so fun. Aaron buddies. Yes, she's my little Aaron bestie. So we're heading to Trader Joe's right now, but I just wanted to hop on and say hi and start this vlog. And yeah, we'll see what we have in store for the day. We're here, the Holy Land. Those are actually, I think these have been here for a while. <laughs> we just got back from Trader Joe's, so I'm gonna do a little haul for you guys to show you what I got. I only got two bags, so let me just show you. B is really interested. I got this for being student of the month at UNF for Nutrinews. I got such a cute note and a bunch of goodies, which was so fun. I'm just gonna show you what's inside now. But I got some strawberries. This is all from Trader Joe's. I don't know if I said that. My mom got this for Nick because he loves um, peppermint or whatever. I got some bananas. They were small and cute. I got this to have on hand. I've talked about this before. He's making a lot of noise over there. So I got this. I got Nick some yogurt. This is his favorite. Apparently it's my niece's favorite as well. I got two of these, these little pizzas. They were a hit when I was hosting Nick's birthday party. So I figured it would be good again for when I host some Christmassy stuff. These are some of my favorite ravioli from Trader Joe's and they're so easy to make. They're the mushroom and truffle. My mom got me this card. I thought it was so cute. Some broccoli for dinners. These are Nick's favorite treat. So I got them for him because they're not always in stock. I found these, which looked really good. They're gnocchis, but they have a truffle cream inside. It just sounded delish. What else is in here? So there's another one of the pizzas. And then this I saw was another appetizer that might be good for Christmas. It's the beef and mushroom pastry. Buddy is popping off. I got Nick a little buffalo style chicken wrap for lunch. And then I got a brown rice because it's so easy for meal preps. Really lean into convenience foods when you need them to help you out with your meals. All right, that's the first bag. Second bag, I got Nick some sour cream donuts. He really liked the other ones. So I wanted to try those out. Trader Joe's has really good organic brown rice pasta, so I just got two more. I got a big thing of walnuts. I think there's pecans in here too, because I want to make candied nuts. I got Buddy some of his favorite things for Christmas. I gotta hide those. I got some espresso for my espresso machine. This one has notes of sweet caramel flavor medium body so we're gonna try this one i got two things of vanilla extract just to hold me over for a little while and i'll show you how my vanilla extract is doing here's my vanilla extract i have going on she's thriving and there's one for my sister that i have brewing at the moment i got nick his favorite pretzels they have peanut butter inside of them I got a Kansas City style barbecue sauce. Kansas City barbecue sauce is honestly my favorite. I got a thing of potatoes. I'm really wanting chicken marsala, so got that for that. I think this is a thing of Go Macro bars. They're like my favorite. So I got the dark chocolate ones that I'm gonna split with my mom. And then lastly, oh, these are just shallots and garlic for the sauce that I wanna make. So. Here is the haul. Time to make a return. In we go. All this new decor is out for Christmas. We're in the town center doing some shopping. Look at that car. That's an interesting car. Would you ever have that car? Uh, I wouldn't. I'm like a white car sort of lady. Well, that was really all of the <laughs> that was it. <laughs> Hello friends. So my mom just left me. It is about six o'clock right now. I'm just making a list for the rest of the week and everything that I have to do. So I have a final on Thursday. Today, by the way, is Tuesday. Sorry, that was hard. So today's Tuesday. Tomorrow I have to film more for you guys and then edit and upload this for Thursday. And I need to study for my final exam. And then I take my final exam Thursday and then I'm finally done with the semester. I'm so so excited to be done. I'm to be honest with you guys I'm so burnt out. I have been burnt out 
for a while now and it's been really stressful and crazy and hectic. Oh, then also on Thursday, I have like two different appointments. So basically I'm ready to be done with the semester and I'm ready to like actually relax and like clean my house because it really needs to be deep cleaned. My hair is so wild right now because it was in a pony all day. It's like looking a little bit greasy, but I'm so excited. I got a product in the mail. Maybe I'll show you. Hold on, I need to make sure that the product is already released. Okay, so I just looked it up and I'll show you what is on the Instagram. So I got this product to try out and I'm so excited, but I can't release any details until they release their details. So I wish I could do that with you. What my plan was to show you guys like a before and after, like put it in my hair and show you how it looks, but I'm gonna have to wait. So if you want to get updates, it's on JVN Hair on Instagram, and they're talking about the new product they're releasing, but I think it's released on the 19th, and this is going up on the 16th. I just love their hair care. It's been one of my favorite brands to use, so I'm so excited. I got chosen for something. It's just so exciting. It's just, I'm so excited. <laughs> but I had such a fun time with my mom today. We did Nordstrom. I had some returns to make, so I went to Nordstrom. So we went to Hobby Lobby. We got some food at Chewy's, which is like a Tex-Mex place here. So we were going all around. I was trying to vlog with her today, but this is the first time that I've ever vlogged with her. So she's getting a little nervous and clammy on camera. So I had to just stop filming her. <laughs> Basically is what happened. That's why the footage kind of stopped, but I'm gonna get her warmed up to it and she will be on the camera if she wants to be later on. She wanted to be on camera, but then she was clamming up. So, but I totally get it. Sometimes I pull out my camera and I have no idea what to say. And sometimes I pull it out and I have way too much to say, but I'm making a calendar right now about every appointment I have for the next, like literally the next month, everything else I have left to do in December. I'm putting in all the holiday dates. I'm putting in any due dates I have. I'm also making my content calendar for the month. So all the stuff that I want to film for you guys. And I'm kind of upset because I wanted to put out so much more Christmas content for you guys. Like I really wanted to have that cozy Christmas sort of ambiance on my channel throughout the entire month of December. However, with finals and school and working, it just hasn't been realistic for me and it makes me so sad, but I know other YouTubers who just do YouTube, they're able to make Christmas like their job for the month <laughs> on their channel. I wish I was in that position. However, here we are, I'm doing what I can. Sorry, I'm holding my phone up with my hand and my arm's getting tired, but this is not my good angle. This is my good angle. <laughs> so yes, I have, I picked up some more presents for Grace. If you're watching, hi Grace, I got some more presents for you. And then, who else did I buy for today? I got some wrapping supplies. I need more wrapping paper. I got that stuff from Target. Let me show you, hold on. Let's go on a field trip through my house. The only clean room in my house right now is my living room. It's so bad. You guys will probably see my house though later on cause I need to do like a clean with me or something. Yikes. You can see all my laundry though. I have so many things to return as well. I need to like start a return. I got this wrapping paper. It just says ho, ho, ho and it's black and white, so I picked this one up. I don't know if you guys have been to Target lately, but I feel like the options aren't great. I'm not jazzed about the options for Christmas. I got this frozen kind of like play set thing. I'm not 100% sure what it is, but when my sister and my niece Grace come up, and my other niece June, and my brother-in-law Chris, I wanted Grace to have something to do when we were talking as like adults and stuff, because you know, Kidsine activities. So I got her that. I got Nick a ton of like little things for his stocking. So I hope he doesn't watch this, but these are for his stocking. I kind of went a little crazy and I don't know why. All right, I took the rest of the stuff out of the bag so it would stop making the noise. But I got him his favorites, got him those, and I got him these. And now he's done. He doesn't need anything else in his stocking because I have other stuff that I bought and we'll make his stocking together later. But I got this for my sister as like a little gift topper. It's just, it's like a really cute ornament. I wasn't super impressed with like the Christmas wrapping stuff this year from Target. So I think what I'm gonna do is just put her stuff in a plain bag and then put this as like the Christmassy topper to like tie it all together. And then the other bags at Target, it was like five or $6 for just a bag, like a Christmas bag that somebody's just gonna throw away. And I was like, I just can't do that. So I spent $5 and I got all of these Christmas tags which I'm not 100% in love with these, but this is the best that Target had. It's just black, white, and gold, which we know is my favorite. I got these little white bags 
and I got them a while ago because anytime I have a gift for somebody it's just easier just to have like a white bag and then you can tie like bows on it or whatever just for like a nice present so I got these to tie on there and it just makes it super Christmassy and it's a lot more affordable because I got the white bags from Amazon so I'll link those so you guys can see what I'm talking about but that's the Target haul. next day so it's Wednesday I think however last night I was in bed and I realized that product I was talking to you about that came in the mail that I was like I can't talk about well I actually can't talk about it because I released it <laughs> they just hadn't released it that early in the day so what I'm thinking is I need a shower because I just woke up and I slept in today these are pieces I got from City Chic by the way that I need to try on for my trip but I look like a hot mess because I am a hot mess so I need a shower and then I think I'm gonna do my hair because I haven't done it in a while and I really just I'm struggling with my hair right now but here's the product that came in the mail which I'm so so excited about it's the JVM Beauty because I think his name's Jonathan Van Ness that's why it's a JVN it's the complete nourishing shine drops oh look how beautiful I am so excited so he uses squalene in this formula for your hair. So what I'm gonna do is, and actually just so you know, I'm not lying. I literally use this before I shower. This is his other product. This is the pre-wash scalp oil. And then I'll show you what's in my shower right now. Let's just take a deep dive. Okay, so I can't turn the light on or else the fan goes on and it's super loud. But these products right here I've been using from him. This is the undamaged line. They're really affordable and they're really good. So. I need to clean my shower. No one judge me. It's on the to-do list. I just cannot stress enough how burnt out I am right now. <laughs> it's kind of sad. So that's why I'm going to take a shower. I'm going to relax. I have to study today. However, I think I'm going to put this in right now, which we can do while I'm talking. This one's the scalp oil. And I got this because it was during the Sephora sale. If you're new here, I got it during the Sephora sale because I have a little bit of dermatitis. Not dermatitis dermatitis I have something on my scalp where it sometimes gets dry and it gets annoyed so then wow that is a look I always have these hairs right here that just fly straight out does anybody else have that or am I alone here so I literally just put this on my entire scalp and then rub it in and if my scalp is dry specifically like it is in the winter then this kind of nourishes my scalp before I get in the shower it just makes my scalp feel a little bit better so it's not as dry and then I just kind of gently massage it in trying not to rough up my hair too much even though it's kind of impossible but what I do is because my hair is getting like super knotty lately <laughs> I put this in my hair and then I spend like five minutes slowly brushing my hair out with a wet brush all right so that is in we're gonna let that do its thing. But yeah, I don't know if I explained it correctly yesterday. I'm not entirely sure what I even said. I was so tired. But this is like a styling shine serum. So what I'm gonna do is take my shower, use his products, because I wanna use only his products in my hair and just see how it does. And then put this in my hair. Do I put this in before or after I style? Apply to dried hair. Okay, so I'm gonna have to apply something else because I don't have like a post shower product from him and like before styling. So I'm gonna have to use other products, but I'll show you what it looks like after it's styled and then I'll show you what it looks like once this is applied. And there's no silicones in it, so that's exciting. It's made in the USA. But yeah, in case I didn't explain it enough. So one of my favorite YouTubers I used to watch for makeup, she changed careers and is now working for JVN Hair. I'm probably messing that up, but she works for him now and she posted on her Instagram, which I followed because I followed her from YouTube, that her company that she's now working for, JVN, it had positions open for influencers or people to just try product. 
and test it out. And so I signed up for that. So that's how I got this. They didn't just like see me and reach out to me, but I didn't like reach out to them. It was like something they posted where you just filled out a form. And so I just filled the form out and then I got accepted. So this was incredibly exciting. So nice. I'm gonna take my shower. Oh wait, I forgot. I need to brush my hair out first. If I don't pre-brush my hair, then it's just too hard to distribute product in my hair in the shower. But while we're here anyway, I will do, I'll give you a little rundown of what is to come today. So I probably have already said this. So if I'm repeating myself this video, I'm so sorry. It's just one of those days, one of those weeks, one of those semesters really. I have my final tomorrow for food management at 11 o'clock. So I need to study today. I haven't even watched the last lecture. So I need to watch the last lecture. It's really short. I just need to like do it. So I'm gonna do that. And then I need to come up with three cookie recipes or three to four because I wanted to film a Christmassy video for you guys. So I wanted to bake some Christmas cookies for Sunday's video. And it'll be like, we're all hanging out on Christmas, well, for Christmas. If any of you don't have much family or friends or whatever, I just wanted to put out a video where you can feel like you're my friend and we can cook, not cook, yeah. Sorry, I got so distracted by this hair right here, I forgot what I was saying. But we can bake some cookies together, try out some recipes, see where life takes us. But that is kind of the general plan. So today, again, is just gonna be a study day. Thursday is finals. And then Thursday, I need to order the ingredients. Friday, I might take the day off completely from like no filming, no school, cause school will be over. And just relax, I need a day to relax. I wanted to do Vlogmas this year, but it just didn't happen for me. But next year I won't be in school, so I can do Vlogmas, which will be exciting. This hair, I just can't. Okay, now my hair looks greasy, but that's because I put that oil in it, so just ignore it. But for now, I'm gonna shower, and then we will, I guess, study. I think we can study together. I don't know, we will see where this video takes us. I'm not even quite sure myself. <laughs> okay, it's time for my shower, and then maybe I'll bring you along so you can see how I style my hair, and then we'll try this together and see if there's any difference and see if we like it and if it's worth it. All right, I am post-shower. My hair is feeling really good from using that shampoo and the conditioner. I'm going to just spray a little bit of this in my hair because I think this is like the least invasive thing to put in my hair. It's a Purology kind of, this is a multitasking leave-in spray. I normally just use this to help get rid of tangles and for heat protection. So this is the only thing I'm gonna put in my hair. For styling, cause I can't just put my bare hair through a heat styling process. All right, I'm gonna let my hair air dry for a little bit because I don't want to heat style it when it's super wet. But this bra, by the way, is the Skims Outdoor Bra that I got on sale during the Black Friday Nordstrom sale. I love it. This is like the khaki color, I like the sand color. And then I also got the black one. They're both like acid wash. Very, very comfortable for around the house. So I'm just gonna air dry my hair and do a little bit of computer work. I'm gonna set up my studying station and then I need to put some lotion on my legs. And then we'll reconvene after I've blow dried my hair with a Dyson, we'll then try the drops and see if they're any good or not. Okay, here's my hair just blow dried basically all the way. I literally was only blow drying for about like under five minutes and normally i would style my hair but this is just what it's like blow dried straight so here's our before and now i'm going to try these so apply to dried hair and there's no other instructions i'm just going to take a few drops it smells really good it, sm it reminds me of biolage back in the day okay that's a difference so this is the shine from the drops and then this is my natural hair. I 
I think it worked. My hair would probably look a little bit better styled, but since I'm just like laying low today, I didn't want to do a full heat style if I didn't need to. I definitely need to try my end, so nobody come for me, I already know. But I think that's a big difference. And my hair is very fine and frizzy. So I think that's a good, a good difference. All right, I'll do the other side. I can't get over the smell. It smells really good. It literally smells like the old Biolage. It's like such a nostalgic scent for me. It was like my first, my stepmom at the time, she used it and I just thought she was the coolest and she had such good style. And I just, she used it so I just thought of her. And then I bought it during college because it was like my first time buying kind of like expensive hair care or like, you know, not drugstore hair care. And the funny thing is you can probably find it in the drugstore now, but here we go. This is not, again, how I would style my hair. I have a little seventies moment, but I think it's cute. That definitely added some shine. It took down some flyaways. I have very hard hair to style. So this is honestly a win. And I definitely need my ends cut. They're looking fried. Can you see that? We just need a chop like right here. From there on. And I'm trying to decide if I want to do blonde again. Well, like, you know, put in some highlights or just grow out my natural hair color. I really don't know what I want to do. But I need to think of something because it's kind of like ombre right now, but like just kind of dark right here. Anyway, these are really good. I'll link them down below if I can. I don't have like a code or anything because it wasn't like that. But when I take pictures, I think because they asked us if we could send before and after pictures, I didn't want to do that today because I wanted to put my makeup on and stuff. But in a future video, if I do that campaign or just send the pictures, I'll show you guys. But yeah, I think it worked. I'm impressed. So this is the chapter I'm working on, food service safety best practices. So I'm going to get through this and then I will probably study the other chapters. All right, you guys, that is it for this vlog. I know it was a little bit not really action packed, but it is what it is for this upload. This is my last final of the semester. I'm so excited it's over. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. And be on the lookout for the cookie video to come. That should be so fun and Christmassy and cozy. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.